Hi everyone, it's Madison. Again, this week's DIY. Super excited about this one. We're gonna be celebrating a beautiful holiday called Day of the Dead. Um, this is a holiday where people of Hispanic origin like to honor their passed away loved ones by building something called an ofrenda, which is a altar. Um, usually on this altar, there are pictures of their loved ones, candles, food, and most importantly, flowers, all to guide their spirits back to them. So very excited to be celebrating this. Um, with today's vase, I'm gonna be using this really small, um, like kind of tight, like opening vase. Um, it's gonna be really good because I'm gonna go for a shape that's really tight and round and circular. Um, and this is gonna be good for those short um, stems. So I recommend you doing the same and finding a vase like this. If not, use your Flowers or Dreams vase. You can do it, I believe in you. All right, so let's get into some of these stems. So our first stems are gonna be these Pink Floyds. Um, they are very beautiful. They're like very bright, saturated pink. Um, and I love using them and they open up huge. They're very beautiful. So excited to use some of those. Then we have some um, Hot Pink Celosia. Um, Celosia is a um, amaranth. It's in the amaranth family, fun fact. Um, a lot of people also call this coxcomb, and it's very pretty because it looks like um, brains. Um, I call them the brain flower um, sometimes at my shop because I'm a little silly, but you know, it's fine. But it's very pretty, so very excited to use those. And then we have, um, most importantly, our marigold. So marigolds are actually very common inside of this holiday, and um, I'm very excited to use these. They have a beautiful smell to them. When you cut open a marigold, you know someone in the shop is using marigolds. It fills the entire room. So I'm very excited to use these. And we're gonna use the greens for some texture too, which is gonna be very pretty. So don't toss away all your greens, because we will be using them. All right, so let's get started. All right, so first I'm gonna go on with these roses. First we're gonna use our Pink Floyd roses. Um, they are very large and very pretty, um, but they have these um, guard petals on them. So guard petals are usually the petals on the flower that protect the head of the flower, um, but they're also the first ones to go bad. So we're gonna get rid of those because we don't need them and they tend to look a little beat up. So we're gonna toss them to the side. I'm gonna do the same to this rose, get rid of any of that extra foliage that we don't need. Because remember, no stems in our water, never. All right. I'm also gonna um, cut these a little shorter because again, I'm gonna get like a more rounder shape. So I'm gonna really make these stems pretty short so they stay in place really well and they create that tight circle shape that I was looking for. So I'm gonna look at where I want it. I'm not gonna cut it too short at first because I wanna make sure I'm doing it right. That's not long, too long. So I'm gonna do a little shorter. Cause remember, what do I always say? You can't bring the stem back. So you want to make sure that you're you know, not cutting too much off. I think this is the good length right here, but first I'm going to blow into the middle and spin it around too. Really get some of that like middle open. These have a beautiful center in the middle. So when you get them nice and open, you can really like see that middle. So I'm going to stress out a little bit and bam, we have a beautiful center that we can now see. Cut it a little short. All right, and then we're gonna do the same to this one. I'm gonna cut it a little shorter, not too much at first. Put your hand over. You know, you need to blow like kind of hard. You're gonna be like, am I spitting on this? No, you're fine. And then kind of fluff them out. Inside of um, weddings and events, because we're gonna be using the flower like right away, so we really want the flower's potential. Um, a lot of times we crinkle our roses open and we spin them out and you know, do that so we can get that full potential. So, very beautiful. Oh, and they're so pretty. Oh, I'm obsessed with pink foliage, honestly. All right. Again, with this arrangement, we're going to be doing grouping. So, I'm actually going to keep all of the colors together. Um, so, I'm going to keep my roses with my roses, my um, celosias with my celosias, and my marigolds with my marigolds. All right. So next, I'm gonna go in with these crazy brain looking things, our Celosia. I'm gonna strip off those bottom leaves because again, we don't want that in our water. Okay. 
napkin. We're going to cut these real short. Real short, real short. They grow really weird, so they get, have these like really flat stems sometimes. It's like crazy. It's like a little... All right. Then I have one more in here. And again, we're going to keep those together. Cutting them real short, taking off our leaves. Gonna turn it around and make sure it looks nice. Alright. Now celosias have like really weird shapes to them, so fold them around, cutting them, cut them short, and really play them together. They almost act like a puzzle piece almost when you're trying to put them together. Put these right there. And see, bam, those two celosias literally fit together perfectly. So if you like cut them right and maneuver them right, they kind of like come together perfectly. So I'm gonna do that. And now what we have left is our beautiful marigolds. Again, once again, very excited to use these. They smell so good. They smell absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna cut them short and then again, start filling in those gaps with those. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Almost lost my pruners, guys. We don't want that to happen. What am I going to do? It's so cute. Are you kidding? These colors are so cute together. Man. That's another cool thing about the Salai. The colors are one thing. Like, there's so many beautiful colors in it. It's so saturated and beautiful. Pinks and oranges and reds. I absolutely love it. Alright, I'm going to put this one. Right in here. So cool. So cool. Then we have these little buds right here that we can add. Take off some of this foliage. Just a little. Let me see where I want it. I want that row a little more. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we're going to play with some of our foliage and more of those buds. Let me get some accents in there. Here. Remember, turn your vase around. Make sure you're looking at it from all angles. Oh, it smells so good in here. <laughs> it really smells so good. Hope you guys are enjoying this at home. stem that's a little broken but that's okay we'll put it right over here make use of it oh she's turning out so pretty so excited let's play with this one more okay. one more piece let's see if we can fit another base it's a really small for it to get in there, you know? All right, make sure last couple touches, turn around all your roses, make sure they're, you know, facing out because flowers have faces. God, I should make a t-shirt of that. Sell it to everybody. Flowers have faces, you know? All right, and then we are all done. And look how beautiful she is. She's really cute. She's tiny, but she has all of these beautiful blooms in it. Again, these marigolds smell great. Um, they're round and they add a pop of color. 
We have these celosias, which add again texture and shape. Um, and then we have these beautiful roses that come together very well between both of these colors. Um, again, thank you for joining me. I'd love to see what you guys design with this DIY, so make sure you send it to the link below. Happy celebrating Day of the Dead, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!